So greed is back in the markets and it is here to stay. As the markets basically close right at 50, even though with bad news coming, dampering of Fed rate cuts, along with some news coming out from NVIDIA prior to the open on Monday, NVIDIA stock sinks on report of Blackwell AI server issues ahead of earnings. However, a company that partners with NVIDIA that is responsible for its cooling racks did come out and say that they are already working on a solution for this, so it was a gigantic nothing burger. NVIDIA actually came in clutch yesterday, giving a lot of those an opportunity to buy cheaper as the stock is heading into earnings. Again, I'm betting bullish. I own 100 shares of this company because I'm expected to play a bullish play for NVIDIA earnings out there, which I'll be going over exactly in this video of what I'm doing so you guys can replicate it if you want, even at a better price than I got into NVIDIA. Subsequently, NVIDIA did break down this upper trend that we were having that we did hold on Friday. That is why I initiated a bullish position on it because the trend was holding. Again, some catalyzed news occurred, but let's see. There is opportunity to the upside with NVIDIA, and we're going to be going over where it could be going, especially with the bull sentiment still staying intact in the markets. We're actually going to be going through the checklist exactly how I do every single day to determine if I need to be bull side or bear side of the market, and it's very, very simple. So as you guys all know, I am playing bullish on NVIDIA, and even though with the news of issues, right? It's going to be naturally overlooked. As I mentioned with on the weekend deep dive that everyone's going to get drunk and forget about everything as the market was bullish today. And actually it was significantly bullish in the sense of we were in an area where it was just consolidation. Consolidation is the first step to stop going down is to basically stop going down and go sideways. So as we can see here, we basically are consolidating in that tight range. And it's not only the S&P that is doing this, the NASDAQ as well did it as well between 503 and 494. I'm not going to exactly go over how we got these levels in this video, guys. Linked in the description below is the Weekend Deep Dive so you guys can check it out exactly how we got these levels. But subsequently, this means that the coil is winding. We're winding this coil nice and tightly and we're getting ready to explode. Now, will that move be to the upside or that move to be to the downside? It is yet to be determined. We're going to let the market determine that price action based on today's close. So we were pretty much hopefully not head into NVIDIA earnings without already having a direction because we want that direction to continue. We want NVIDIA to catalyze that rea reaction. And subsequently, we do have a double gap on the indexes, specifically the NASDAQ, again, tech sector, so think chips as well, to the upside where we can basically fill a double gap. That's extremely bullish because it is basically a magnet pulling us up into that region. So my expectation is we're gonna have above a 503 close on the NASDAQ today, and that we are going to have above a 590 close Close on the S&P. If we are getting that, then we really need to turn our attention to 600 on the S&P. That will be the bullish catalyst to the upside. And like I mentioned with the NASDAQ, the S&P also has a double gap, but it is smaller. So you really want to pay attention to that NASDAQ gap to know which way we're going. So the markets are pointing in an upwards direction. Subsequently, we can go over to NVIDIA, and I do want to point out, we do have an interesting volume gap up here as we're heading into earnings and subsequently could get a bullish buy signal coming to you very, very soon. So we'll keep you guys updated of that. And subsequently, on the monthly chart, we can see NVIDIA actually turning bullish on the buy order uh, smart money flow. So we're expecting more pushing to the upside and subsequently could be massive, massive earnings with NVIDIA heading on deck. Trend still intact, bullish signal on the monthly. So we can also check the S&P and the NASDAQ on the same quote, right? So no sell signal on the S&P, no sell signal on the NASDAQ. That means it is all green lights ahead for bullishness to continue as we head into this Santa Claus rally phase of the market. Again, the markets traditionally like to be bullish during this time. So it is contrary to basically believe that we're going to have this massive downside. Even with the Fed interest rates basically still stabilizing at 60-40, again, 
We're gonna get some PCE data next week. These odds could completely flip. We also are gonna get jobs reports and CPI before the next Fed meeting. So again, don't discount the market's ability to basically flip on a dime and basically be bullish in a heartbeat. This market has shown that they will take any single shred of good news and run with it. NVIDIA earnings could definitely be that catalyst for tomorrow. As we jump over the economic calendar, we're going to see there's nothing really much. There's some housing data on Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, nothing really much here. We're going to get the 30 rate mortgage rate data, but that's not going to be the big thing. We got Bowman speaking, 20 year bond auction. Everyone's going to be waiting for the show like Tyson and uh, Paul and Jay Paul this weekend. It's going to be the NVIDIA show during the week. So again, if you guys didn't catch that one, make sure you catch the NVIDIA show. It's going to be way more interesting. So again, there's nothing really much on Thursday that's going to change the trajectory of the markets, especially when NVIDIA expected to report 31 to 6 expectations of a bullish earnings report and the key is going to be the guidance it's going to be the guidance for broadwell it's going to be the key guidance for all all of it because blackwell will steal the show the guidance for that is going to completely steal the show as we head into that and also i do want to point out with the bond market basically calming down reverse repo is tuning down a little bit they're not going ballistic crazy in the market that uh, sitting about 200 yields have calmed down a little bit so we can actually jump over to that real quick just to show you yields are basically going sideways right now which is an indication of everything's calm cooling collective in the bond market the 30 year as well and the main one that we talk about the 20 is basically going sideways the two and five having similar patterns as well so now let's jump over to the options play that we're talking about in the video. I did share one, but I want to give you guys an update. If you did not catch the weekend deep dive, make sure you guys head over there. I explained this option in detail. I just want to give you a quick update of how I would manipulate or what I'd be targeting for this position, specifically if we're looking bullish on the video. I would not recommend to go bearish on the video just because, again, it, the deck is completely stacked against you. So let's hop over to Tasty Works. Uh, sorry, Tasty Trade, still remember it as the old name. And we can subsequently see I added a couple things to the portfolio. As you guys saw in the Week in Deep Dive, I added Amazon and Google today, basically adding to play bullish Google. I got in a pretty good price. Amazon, not too much, but I'm going to let it sit and work. The Boeing position is paying off, but I don't like the Ben Nask spread on it. So I'm probably going to have to let it sit. AMD paying off really nicely. Thank you, NVIDIA and Semis for continuously running bullish. Everything seems good. Rumble is just being rumble. And NVIDIA did give me a little bit of a pounding considering that we basically had 1% down. But subsequently, if we jump over to NVIDIA, right, let's talk about the option chains that we're gonna be looking at. Right now, implied volatility is 115% for the November 22nd option chain, but we're, yeah, the November 22nd is what we wanna look. And again, that 160, 170 is where I'd be targeting for that bullish approach. Again, if you guys didn't get into that debit transaction, now is the excellent time because I do feel like NVIDIA is in a point where we're not going to get further depreciation in it as we saw. We basically created the low of the day and then did not retest that low during the day. Now we have to look at the price action that closed today for it to understand where we need to go. So again, probably targeting that 145, even you could stretch it to previous highs of 150. If you were trying to do a debit transaction, you could probably, if you're looking to do a pretty wide spread, buy the 145, sell the 150. That's basically $154 to make $346. 150 is basically NVIDIA's all-time high especially with this expected earnings being pretty broad. This is going to expand. So the options are still relatively cheap, close to in the money. I do expect this to expand pretty far. And for those that want to basically be sell side, I'd be looking at the 130 to basically 120 is like the class. I like $10 wide spreads. That's just my personal opinion. That's a 23.9 Delta option spread, which leaves us about the same amount of premium as we went over in the debit transaction, but we do have to put up $842 of collateral. However, with this one, we just have to have NVIDIA not completely bomb on earnings and subsequently can also roll it before our credit. So this option is technically one of the more safer options. I will be doing the opposite because I have the shares, right? So I'm going to be selling probably the 160, 170, 
uh, option chain because I do want to maximize some of that profit. And again, I want to basically see touch that outside that expected move and go a little bit further. So I get, you know, if we get an overshoot, I still get to keep the shares and keep the premium. That is what I'm going to be doing, probably targeting 170, maybe the 160 even, right? With these two ranges right here is what I'd be targeting, about $100. But then again, I own the share. So for me, I'm looking at the profit of the shares plus the option premium, just trying to line my pockets a little more with some of that bullish NVIDIA play. Again, you can move up the expected spread of where if you think NVIDIA is going to completely blow out, you could honestly do a 140 130 spread, right? Because the, the premium is going to be significantly higher. However, your risk to reward depends how it all goes, right? 140, 130, almost $400 in premium, and but you could have a high risk of losing 619 versus like we previously showed with the 130 and then subsequently, let's say 120, you're gaining basically half that, but the risk to reward is still in your favor. So I hope this was really helpful for you guys to understand what's going on with NVIDIA, how I'm playing the NVIDIA earnings, a market update. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll have the latest weekend deep dive pinned over here for you to check out where we go in depth about what we think is going to happen to the market along with this NVIDIA play in more detail. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the live stream.